to sure increase in. the tax base uh, in Hillsborough and that in the city of Tampa. That helps everybody. Yeah. When the person in Valrico is an electrician and he's been unemployed because he's been unable to get a job, <coughs> and because of the economic development from the light rail, there will now be a job offer to him that wasn't there before, then you bet there's a cause and effect. Uh, Karen. Okay, I want to respond to a couple things. Um, she said that it would cost the average household $140 per year. There's about a half a million households in the county that only comes up to seventy million dollars. If that's the case then they're seriously underfunding this project and it's doomed to fail. The other thing is what is going to attract jobs is low taxes. If we pass this sales tax we are going to have the highest sales tax of any county in Florida. Now that's going to do two things. One, a company wants to relocate here, they're going to relocate to an adjacent county. And me who lives near the county line, if I'm going to make my purchases, especially on major items, I'm going to go across the county line to purchase it. So it's really detrimental to the county in so many levels. Mayor Iori, what well, would you say to that? Quite the opposite in terms of what companies are looking for in terms of coming to our community. Uh, I know from dealing with corporations for the past seven and a half years as mayor, you know what they're looking for? They're looking for a community that invests in itself. 